Cool. So we want to welcome Prep Anthony to our first podcast uh, here with Ultimate Appeal Boy Talk. We're just men just chopping it up about what we do. Um, we are all content creators. Um, we're all artists. Um, we're all business men as well. Um, and just this, this is an opportunity for us to just learn more about Prep Anthony. Um, who is he? Well, of course, we we see him all over Twitter right now. Like, he is truly the hot topic. Like, I mean, seriously, the hot topic. We um, we had an opportunity to work with him just recently, shot some killer, amazing massage content with him, um, and it has truly helped our brand as, as well as helped his. So, uh, let's, get, let's get going. So... Prep Anthony, welcome. 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 Like, I love this. Like, this is really awesome. And I definitely have enjoyed meeting you guys and working with you guys. And it's been, like, a great path. So we're going to continue to move forward and see what happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay, so how long have you been... Well, let's start with, our, like, where are you from? Like, if, if, normally we ask the question, like, yeah. are you from Atlanta? No, no, everybody's from somewhere right. else. Nobody seemed like they were originally from Atlanta. So I'm from the small town in Florida, and a lot of people haven't heard of it, but it's near Jacksonville, it's near Daytona, it's near Orlando, it's near Gainesville. It's like in the middle of all these major cities. Um, so it's called Palatka, Florida. Um, I've been here in Atlanta for 10 years, 11 years now. Yeah. So I came here when I turned 28 just to like celebrate and, you know, bring my birthday in and then I ended up like missing the bus back home <laughs> and they had like um this job called me like I just rarely applied for this job while I was here like I applied for this job and they're like can you come in for an interview like tomorrow so I'm like okay well I missed the bus I'm up here why not it's a job so ended up going to the job and I got it and I just stayed here so okay. it's been like almost 10 years now because I'll be 39 this year okay yeah. All right. We, we almost hit the forty mark. That's yeah, almost hit, but I don't look it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. How do you like it so far? Like, how do you like it so far? Like Atlanta. Um. So Atlanta is home. Like Atlanta is definitely home. It's definitely a step up. No shade to where I'm from, but like I would never live there again. This, you know, there's so many opportunities here for Black people. Like you just have to put a foot out and 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 look for it because it's there. So. I definitely love Atlanta. Um, I've lived in Virginia like a few months. Uh, like, it was a year ago, for, like a few months. I was dating somebody there, and I went up there, and it was cool. But I really miss here. It was like there's no vibe like this. So definitely, I I love it. Okay, nice. Yeah. So, tell us what made you decide to go into like the content. Oh my God. It's just jump right on. Yeah, <laughs> I get that all the accent all the time. Um, so this is my thing. My family, they're all in Florida, and I'm up here, you know, basically by myself. Like I have friends, but they have like, their own stuff going on. And I've always been like a very independent person. Like I don't ask people for anything, but I'm always the one to help people. That's just the Libra in me. So I was looking for just you know just different ways of income like i had like investments i opened up i did like some stock and i have like my 401k and stuff set up just all different types of like avenues of income so i'm thinking okay prep you can't sing worth a damn like <laughs> you love you like to say but you sound horrible so you can't make no money doing that and you can't really cook like you can cook for yourself but everybody gonna buy your shit so you can't do that either and like I'm like, so what? There has to be something. You can't dance, can't sew, can't write. So like I've always been good at like taking pictures. Like I would take pictures on Instagram and post for years. And like I sometimes I post like just like a a nude with just like just like my ass or something showing. Like not nothing too like just you know a little classy type of picture. And then I would get like, a lot of responses. A lot of people hit me up about that. So. I thought about it, I was like, well, you don't have any of that stuff, but what you do have is you have looks, and you have a nice body, you have a nice personality, a nice smile, and, like, your sex game is pretty good, too, like, so, like, <laughs> this is your talent, this is what you're blessed with, so 
use what you have to get forward. So I was like, sorry, mom and dad, but I got to take care of myself. Like, I got to do it. So, yeah, I just put a few things out there, like just some small stuff out there just to see how people would take it. Mm-hmm. And they was like, they're sexy. They liked it. They were like, you know, it wasn't like what I expected to happen. Right. So then I was like, okay, well, I guess, you know, I guess we're out there. So I went to Florida for a vacation and ended up like linking up with a boy. He was also a content creator. So I'm like, why not just go all out and do a full, you know, scene, whatever. I did that, and then it was just on since then. Okay. And how long have you been a content creator? Um, so this month is February. I started, like, December 1st. Okay. So December, January, February. So just, like, three three months now. Oh, wow. So mm-hmm. three months. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so so we'll... So we'll see what this coming December gonna look like. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely have seen an improvement, major improvement in numbers all over like social media. So like it's definitely been a very good experience so far. Nice. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. So, so now that you've got you know your content out, um, this is all new coming into the content creator world. Like, what's your what is your take now on seeing so many people stepping over into the content creating world? Like, right? What are your, so, what are your thoughts yeah, on that? Because that's such that's such a trending thing right yeah. now. Yeah, I definitely have two sides of that. The first thing is I'm so upset with myself that I didn't start earlier. Like, I could have I could have <laughs> been doing this. This is like I'm telling you, it's been lit. Like, it's been like. Like I'm like I'm telling like damn I should be doing this. <laughs> um, but just kind of thinking back to like the original like forms of adult entertainment, it was like in magazines or like books and stuff like that. Like, we didn't have the social media things, right? True. And so like these people had to kind of work for a company. Like they couldn't work for themselves and express themselves individually. Right. Right. And so many of these companies had like certain weight criteria, certain dick size, certain ass size, certain, so many things that limited to you doing this. Right. If you wanted to. And they paid the models very little money. So. Right. So with that being said, nowadays we have so many different platforms. You can be in the car or your home, your car, the shop, in the gym, and just record your natural self and express yourself and just put it out there. And there's going to be people that are going to buy that. People are going to be into that. That's there's a market and a brand for everybody. Right. So I think people realize that and they're more comfortable now to just go in and do it. And um, just recently, I was on like a set for this um, this other project I was on. And just to be in the set and have to get like hard right on, on cue. You have mm-hmm. to fuck this, do that. Like it's just so much pressure. People are watching you. So it feels kind of more uncomfortable. But, you know, behind and our private of our, of our home, it's more comfortable it's on our time you know, our pace and we can you know like yeah right yeah, yeah so right. It's, i think that's definitely something and then there, you know, there's the financial aspect of it like you know i told y'all earlier like, i wanted different brands of different type, types of income coming in so mm-hmm. it's like i'm not putting my business out there but like the numbers that i hit like just like research it yesterday was like way more than what i was expecting for me just starting like i was like Okay, right. So imagine what I'll be at down this road. Yeah. So definitely that. Definitely a bonus. But uh, you know, you you are right. Um, I think after a little after the pandemic, I think the, the pandemic did. I feel like two two a bad thing and a good thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. One is, of course, our heart goes out to anyone that lost a loved one during yeah. the pandemic. Um, but also, too, with being confined, I believe, in our homes, <laughs> nothing to do. You couldn't go nowhere. Of course, at that point in time, all social media had tripled in just, like, people at home. TikTok, social media, Instagram, of course, then, of course, the OnlyFans, Just for Fans. What better way for you to make money to mm-hmm. to live and suffice and pay your bills? Mm-hmm. An easy way is to create, like you say, content in the privacy of your mm-hmm. own home and get paid for it. Mm-hmm. And then, like yeah. something else, like with like the sex industry, with everything, it's like one of the biggest, if not the biggest, industry we have worldwide. Absolutely, like it has gone back 
you know, centuries before. So, like, when you have people that normally, you know, go out and, like, pick a date up or go to a bar and be like, you know, come home with me, I got, you know, this money or whatever, with them not being able to do that during the pandemic, they're like, okay, so we got to find another way to kind of get what we want. So that's why, you know, I feel like it definitely was the perfect time for that. Yeah. So, everybody wants to know the burning question. How do you decide who you're going to create with? <laughs> Y'all are not playing with me. And have you had any bad experiences with, you don't have to name names, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, you, do you look at somebody that reaches out and be like, ah, like, how do you decide that, okay, I, I'm going to uh, create some content with, with this other creator? I'm going to try to make this as simplistic as I can because it's really different, like, facets to it. Um, well, number one is obviously I have to be physically attracted to these people. That's number one. Right. Like, you're going to film on camera and you have to show, like, you know, passion or show, like, some genuinely emotion. Because people can, like, read your facial expression in your right. eyes <laughs> in your family. People have told me that. They are like, you aren't really an instant person, right? <laughs> I was like, we'll talk about that on the back end, <laughs> you know? So definitely physical attraction is the first thing, obviously. Um, secondly, I kind of go by the content that they have done. Like, I have a brand, and I don't want to be associated with certain things. Like, I'm, And that's no offense to anybody. Like, everybody has their own niche, their own thing. I don't judge anybody. Live your life and do you regardless, period. Right. Um, but... Yeah, I kind of just look at certain things as I see that, like, I don't, you know, really kind of involve myself. Like, I want my um, content to show, like, kind of like a natural, normal experience. So, when I hook up with somebody, they don't have a mask on. Mm -hmm. So, like, I feel like with them having a mask on, it kind of takes away from their facial expressions, and it kind of, like, takes away from the realism. realism. So, you would never create any content with anybody that... I, I will not say that I will not, because I have. I have done, like, uh, a group scene to date. I did, like, one other one with a mask on. Okay. But that's how I know, if I'm experiencing that, that I really wouldn't want to do that. However, if that person is somebody that you know, is eager to work with me and kind of has, like, you know, some stuff going on, then, I, of course, I'm open to that, but it's not the first choice who I look for. Okay. Um, so you're definitely not into like the, the mask thing and you know there's some other things that I really aren't into not into so I kind of stay away from that um and just like reputation too like I don't kind of like I'm not perfect I, I know I'm not and I don't go off what other people have said about people but if I like know you personally myself and we've had like a kind of one-off that I wouldn't want to work with people like that because I would like to be positive and fun and open and comfortable and I want them to be comfortable too. So that's something that I look at too. Nice. Yeah. So now what about doing filming? Have you had any bad experiences during filming? Doing filming? Yeah. But, uh, okay. So I'm just going to put it out there. Like, <laughs> we're going to get to it. Um, <laughs> there is a um, content creator and he is here and he hit me up to do content with him and normally this person is perceived as a top. But I guess they've done, like, a few bottom scenes and stuff. So, um, you know, they hit me up. They wanted to do a scene with me. And I was like, of course, cool. So I get there, and they're like, oh, you know, I'm not finished cleaning up. I need more time. And it's like, you know, if you want to go home, I'll give you your gas money to go home. And I'm like, no, I drove, like, a minute to get here. So I'm, I'm, while I'm here, I'm going to get stuff in. Like, I'm going to get stuff in. Right. So... I went up to his room and I ended up like waiting like another like hour and a half. I'm like, I don't fuck plenty of bottles. It's never took none of my holes this fucking long to get fucking cleaned out. Like what the fuck? But I'm here. I'm still gonna wait some right. time. We're, we're going to do stuff. So okay, he came out. He's like, okay, so we're good. So as I go to like try to like you know put my dick in him, he's like, you know, moving around like going like he's like go slow. I'm like trying to like. Because he's recording on his phone, so I'm trying to, like, contain my facial expression because I'm really frustrated at this point, but I'm going to keep it professional, and I'm going to just ride along with it. So, like, we ended up doing it, and he was like, oh, um, 
yeah, I can't do this. Like, I must have ripped something up. It, it's like it hurts. So I'm like, fucking God, bro, are you fucking serious? So we're still gonna make this work. So like, you know. <laughs> So y'all be a little doctor right now. I'm not gonna tell y'all who y'all gonna clock it. No, no, no. Yeah, y'all, y'all gonna no clock name. it. No y'all gonna no clock it and be like, yeah. No so name. like, I no ended up having to like perform. Yeah, I had to do that. And then, like, like, yeah. yeah. So listen. So after all this is said and done, like I want to say a few days. Like it was, it was, it was just a few days ago from today. But it was like maybe like two or three weeks after we did that. He hit me up again. He's like, "I'm oh, sorry about what happened the first time. Do you want to um come and you know fuck me, or whatever?" And I was like, "Yeah, I mean, I guess I can, but I need you to post something that we recorded the last time before I do something else with you. You got to have you're gonna have to put something on here." And he was like, "Well, I already put somebody else on there, and I don't want it to overshadow what we um have going on." I was like, "I respect that." So my G's texting. He's like. I, I ate something last night. It's taking like you know a long time. I don't know. The water's still not clear. Mind you, we just what happened the first time. This is the same thing that happened again. I'm like, this is not happening. So like he texted me. Like, we were supposed to be at a certain time. Thirty minutes before that time, he was like, yeah, we're gonna have to do it another time. So with that said, you officially canceled it. Thirty minutes after the time that we were um, supposed to be up, he texted me. He was like, I'm ready now. You can come. I was like, you we it's 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 chaos is already off. Like this didn't happen the last time. Like I'm gonna get there and then you got this whole situation going on again. That just is not fucking happening. No. Then to add on top of that, earlier that night he posted a video of somebody else who he posted two days ago. So I'm like, oh I'm, like this is like, I'm definitely not working with you. Like, right. And he never before he had never posted your video. He posted it's like one second, like one literally one like second. second. Yeah, I literally yeah. a second. Like, and I was so like offended by it. I was like, crap, just keep it, keep it calm. Don't yeah. be, you know, just let let it be. And I was so I was so offended by that. So yeah. Yeah, that's bad. But yeah. what like like what sucks about that situation is that he's in this relationship and one of the people he's in a relationship with it like I'm really, really cool with this person. Like I fuck with him like so heavy. And it's like I love you, and we have like our thing going on. But I don't want what me and your boyfriend have going on to affect our relationship. So I'm just gonna like respectfully just not associate him with him. I'll speak with him, but I don't need anything, you know, personal. Well, with no, him. absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day, too, you know, when it all boils down, um, it is work. Yeah, it, it's truly, it's truly work. It's yeah. a lot of energy. It's a lot of mm-hmm. mental energy. It is work. When you're creating content with someone. That you're just basically learning at the, that I'm minute. Ask you. you know? Yeah. Um, okay. Go on. Go on. Yeah, we can add, we should make that. Um, yeah, that's 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 tough. One thing about um, this industry, like people ask me, they were like, "Do you um fuck your content creative um off camera?" And I I do I have, and it's just like. This is there's so many facets. Thank you. There's so many facets to this business, and I believe that networking and building good relationships with people I just work with is good because, like that, just lets you know like you can trust me. We whatever I got going on, I can put you on. If you got something going on, you know, because you know me and you got each other's back. We were cool, so it's not just I meet you, we fuck record, and that's it. Right. That's right. not how I move. You know, people do, but that's not that's yeah. not it. Right, that's true. I mean, because there can be so much more that that can be created out of that mm-hmm. relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. from that workspace in the whole content world. Right, for sure, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so let's change the subject a little. That was a good question. Like y'all are investing, <laughs> but I'm down for it. No, we're gonna we change want, the subject. We want the full skin. We yeah, 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 yeah. So now you're. In your thirties, going into your forties, yeah, um, you're single. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. So, what about like dating? Like, do you date, or if you have dated, have any? Do you tell them what you do, and then are they like, uh, I don't want to date a content creator, so let's go into that realm? Yeah. See. So, like, I just started, like I said, three months ago, and prior to that, you know, I've had boyfriends and stuff, but I've been in like open relationships. I've dated another top like me, um, and like we. Well, don't how does that work? Well, we'll ask that later. 
<laughs> I mean, we can talk about it now. No, no, let's, let's go back to the dating part of it. Well, okay, so yeah, so, um, so since I've been doing content, um, there was a guy that I was um, was talking to, and like I was very upfront with him from the first day. Like I'm a very straight up person. I'm very real. Like you, if I'm like trying to get to know you, I want to let you get to know me, and I'm gonna give you everything. Like so, you have the choice to. Either continue this or you can respectfully, you know, go your way. And that's fine. So there was this guy that I was talking to. And I can tell when I first told him that he kind of had an issue with it. But he was trying to, like, mask it. But I can I can read energy. I can read how your attitude kind of changes. I can, I can read that. So, like, you know, we were kind of, like, still talking, trying to be friends with each other. And then, like, we just kind of just faded off or whatever. But um, just with anybody else, like... I'm a content creator, and like the, I'm doing that to better my life and myself. So it's not going anywhere. It's it's, it's here now. It is your job. So the person that I'm going to be with is going to accept me for me, and I want to accept them for them. A lot of problems that people have, they have an image of how a relationship should be based off someone else or what society thinks a relationship should be. But you have to build your own foundation, your own commitment, your own like life together the way that you want it to be so y'all can both be happy and be a team and support each other and grow. So the person that I'm going to be with, you're going to know exactly what I am, what I do, and if, again, if you don't have a problem with it, then that's it. Like, you're not going to change me. I'm not, not going to change you. Right? You have to be compatible. That's the thing. You have to be compatible with somebody, like a puzzle piece. You have to put the pieces in the spot they belong. You can't put them anywhere. They're going to clash. and They're never going to fit together. So are you... so? Is it safe to say you you would be comfortable dating someone else that's a content creator? Of course. Okay. I, yeah. I mean, are you, you know, looking to date, or are you just like right now? You're focused on. I'm focused on this, so my dating. You know, I'm gonna put this to. to or side it just right happens. Now. It happens. Oh, I'm open yeah. to it, but I'm not really looking for it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just let the universe do it on its own, or I'm kind of scouting it out a little bit. So I feel like we have one life to live. Mm-hmm. And every day, each day is not promised at all. I've learned that a lot. So I'm open to whatever happens. Like I'm not, I'm not going around looking and it's like, oh, I want to be this. But I don't. I, I, I just don't. So like, I feel like the person who wants me or who's going to be with me is going to make it known that they want me. Right. And they're going to like, you know, show me the things that I would like to see and someone who I can spend the rest of my life with. So, like, I have some cool friends that we're friends, we hang out, it's a good vibe, but, you know, we're friends. Like, I'm not going to rush into a relationship right. with anybody unless right. I know them. Mm-hmm. And that's a mistake I made a lot during my years. Like, I'll meet somebody, we'll fuck the sex is amazing, <laughs> and then it's my boyfriend tomorrow. Right. <laughs> like, and they move in with all their shit and all their problems, and I'm like, baby, come on, let's go. And then, like, come like, what? <laughs> Cause like, my, See, like, we Libra, so I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that. We're Libra, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get exactly what you Yeah, so. yeah, I definitely have did that. So it's like I'm in the process of getting to know them and dating them all at the same time. And then I'm like, once I'm in a few months, I'm like, I really don't, I don't want to be with them. So yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, I learned just to take it slow, get to know a person because like people have different ways they react to different situations Mm -hmm. so it's important for you to see how they react in certain situations so you know that's in line with your life and and, and how you move you know right true that's true now let me say this people are not perfect everybody has their flaws so this people are still going to have something that you're not going to agree with but if you can tolerate that bad quality and like you know move from it and grow from it then like that can work out too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he talked about some of my bad qualities. Absolutely. No, no. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a long list of stuff. It's a long list. Oh, yeah. Everybody got the work. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, um, so let's, let's, we're going to jump you all over the place right now. Let's do it. Let's I got my seatbelt on. So now that, you know, you are one of just the top hot things out there right now so is there are there let's just say two individuals that you would really and i want you to name them. i knew it oh my oh, god yeah. we want to put that on we want to put that on 
Oh my fucking god. So there are two individuals that you find that are just the everything that you it's a desire and fantasy that you just wanna just This is gonna break fire so bad because yeah. everybody's gonna be like, Why do you say my name? Like uh, oh, no, no, no. oh you're gonna get that nigga sexy than I am. Uh, Oh my god. Just two. Just two. Just two. There may be more. There may be more. You can tell them later. <sighs> okay, there there is two. Okay. So the first one, like his name is Savage Momo. Okay. And like Savage is just so beautiful to me. Like he has a beautiful smile, beautiful teeth, and he's like so like cool. Savage, you know, right? he, he knows that like I told him that like, he, <laughs> like he's cool, so I'm definitely Definitely, that's like my fucking dream. If I do that, I can just fucking quit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put your hand up. I'm like just that. playing, but yeah, God, that man is beautiful. Okay. Um, and then there's like this guy, I don't know what his name is, but his name is like C-Spot Runner something, and he has like big Ligo all of his skin and a nice, beautiful body. He's so fucking gorgeous. Is he in Miami? I think, I think he might be. Yeah, I think I know you. God, he's so yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, he is. Really? Yeah. Mm, I see it in your eyes. Yes. What would you do? What would you do? <laughs> Ooh, that quite yeah. reminds one. Where's Sarah? Y'all stay tuned for that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you do? That's what I'm saying. Where? Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, y'all stay tuned for that one. <laughs> he's, he's turning into Dan Quinones. Qu what would you do? Woo! That man's beautiful. All right, well, uh, put it out there. We'll put it, we, he, we spoke, he spoke it, so there it is. Yeah. So, so do you have any uh, collabs coming up, and what's what do you have coming up now? Yeah, you know, going forward with everything. Yeah. Um. So I definitely have like some more photo shoots coming up, and I I have at least like. So okay, I have like solid book dates for my collabs here, but I have like some some collabs scheduled in like Miami mm -hmm. and Dallas and. Stuff. First one gonna be worldwide. We know. Yeah. Yeah. Right and I just applied for my passport too, so yeah, oh, I'm yeah. trying to get out there. <laughs> <laughs> trying to, trying to, He's trying to go Brazil. Yeah, step on that first. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fine ass trans man. I'm just sitting there, and they look so fucking good. God, I love a trans man. Okay. I've never hooked up one of them yet, but I'm ready for that. Oh, so wow. Well, okay. right. That's so, something so, that we'll be looking for. Yeah, we'll be for that country. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Definitely doing that. Yeah, and I have like some different stuff. Collapse, like, um, like, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, is there anything you want to, like, tell the, tell the audience or anything before we uh, close it up? Um, I mean, yeah, like I said, like, you guys only have, like, really one life to live. So don't let what anybody says affect what you do and make your, like, actions change. Like, sound is just a noise. Like, you turn sound on and off. That should affect your life. So, if there's anything that you ever wanted to do, like, just try it. You want to either pass or fail. If you fail, you know, at least you try it. You'll never know. Um, just always keep your head up and always believe in yourself. And remember that you're your biggest fan. And you're your number one fan. And you have to support yourself before anybody else will. If you don't support yourself, nobody else will either. So, always do that. Okay, now go ahead and shout out all of your... I can't uh, shout them all out. Your, no, your... Um, your 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 pages. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was like, that all my holes now. I got three of them. Okay, shut your holes out. I can't. I got three of them. No, no. I'm just playing. But yeah. I really do them. Um, yeah. So definitely on um Instagram, I'm Prep Anthony. On Facebook, I'm Prep Anthony. On Twitter, I'm Prep Anthony. And on OnlyFans, I'm Prep Dot Anthony. So it's kind of you know simple. There you go, Prep Anthony. Just yeah, remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, he is a rising star here in Atlanta. So you're gonna be seeing him. A lot, so. I'm doing a little something. Little something, something. Yeah. Little something. And I want to say to y'all, I definitely appreciate y'all giving me this opportunity. Like, this has been so fun and so amazing. Like, I've never even been asked to do a podcast. Never, I never thought about doing one. So, like, to be here in this moment is just, like, very, like, surreal. I'm, like, I'm, I'm eating it up. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. Everything y'all do. Y'all are amazing. Y'all really yeah. amazing. You, you, you're more than welcome. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to some more great things with you. And we loved working with him. And if you haven't yeah. seen our content, go check it out. Yeah, they go into fire. They go into yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. 
Yeah, so we'll be yeah. we'll be creating some more things Definitely. with you, you know, with the magazine, some more content. So we've got a, we've got a long list of things. Oh, 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 oh. It's it's just the beginning of the year. <laughs> it's just February, so we've, mm -hmm. we've got a few things stirring up in the pot. So we will definitely keep you guys posted. But you know, thank you again for coming on, chatting with us. You yeah. know, it's just keeping it raw and real. That's yeah. what we like. That's yeah. the conversations we want to have you know, out there and learning more about you and what you're doing, uh, even outside of creating the, the, the content. There's right. more to you than just content. And those are the things that we we love to learn because, of course, what we see on social media there, is just there, that no, <laughs> That's super nice. I love it. <laughs> you know I'm gonna ask the question. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about the ass to like yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 Every word is the same question in a different way. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> right. So thank you again, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We've got more coming. Stay posted. Um and be sure to um follow all of our pages. Follow us, um, the ultimate appeal page. Also, our um, Just For Fans page is, is Muscle Master. Well, our website, first of all, our website is musclemaster.info. Um, and then, of course, our uh, Just For Fans page is Muscle Master as well. So, again, thank you, man. We look forward to great things coming up for you for 2024. We look forward to working with you some more. And let's let's get it. Let's so get it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yes, sir.